Katie's original diagnosis with Hodgkin lymphoma came just after her 13th birthday. She faced it with fierce determination, the same way that she faced all of life. But when she relapsed, that was really hard. That was her biggest fear. Our local hospital had all but given up hope on her at that point. That's when we saw her smile disappear. It was just as hard to see her depressed as it was to see her sick, because that's not who Katie was. So we left West Virginia and came to Cincinnati for um, the kind of care that we were looking for. We really thought and believed and hoped that our miracle was in Cincinnati. They have the sharpest minds and the biggest hearts for families. I can remember sitting with her physician showing her a video of Katie laughing and smiling and being silly. And I said, that kid in that room is not my kid. This is my kid. And I need to take my kid home. And I need her to make memories with her siblings, even though we knew her prognosis was not good. They were able to give us that. And they brought her smile back, and they brought our kid back. We love Chevy. Yeah. Chevy was the first staff member to bring her smile back. He was there for a lot. He and his handler were with us on the day that we told our other kids that Katie was going to die. And he was with Katie on her last day. She felt safest here. And I, I think that she would want other kids to have the security and the safe place to battle their cancer with their family and with the care that they can get here. I wasn't a cancer mom either until the day that I was. Her cancer didn't respond to the treatments that have been used for decades. We need something new. Cincinnati Children's is doing the research to provide the best treatments for these kids. And I don't think that we can wait. We have to fund it now. Don't take for granted the rare gem that you have in your backyard. Those of us that live outside of the area appreciate deeply Cincinnati Children's.